Yo, what's up guys, Jack here, and today we've got loads of stuff to cover in this video. We're taking a look at some brand new gameplay footage. Uh, a couple hours ago, Battlefield released a little teaser trailer with in-game footage. You get a little bit of first person in there too. Not many more details apart from that, but on the website, however, there is a load of new information about weapons in the game, customization, gameplay mechanics, all sorts of stuff. And also, we've got 40 or so concept art images that have been released, I saw on VG247.com, so we're going to be briefly covering those too. Now, as well as this, I have to let you guys know that on Sunday, June the 12th at 10 p.m. BST, I'm going to be taking part in a Battlefield 1 gameplay live stream from Los Angeles. There's going to be 64 players involved, lots of YouTubers, streamers, celebrities, all sorts of people, and it's going to be live gameplay of BF1. 64 players so look forward to that and we're going to do lots of impressions and videos after that event and after EA play I'm also going to E3 which is the week after so the channel is just going to be absolutely jam-packed full of content for the next couple of weeks on new games impressions new footage all sorts of stuff so look forward to that so first off the new trailer we don't really get that much information here that we already know it just looks very pretty very brutal like I said, there's a little clip of first person gameplay, but that's about it. And it's kind of teasing the trailer and the gameplay reveal on June the 12th. So moving over to the website now, we've got a Q&A from Darkness429 and Julian Shimek, who is a weapon designer on BF1. And there's a few things in here that I just wanted to cover. So he first starts off talking about the weapons, saying they're a bit more specialised. Gadgets might look a bit different, but you'll feel right at home if you're a Battlefield player. And we've got things like tanks and armor piercing rounds, but also medical supplies and scouting gadgets that revolutionize the next century of war. Is there any way to customize weapons? Most weapons will allow you to equip bayonets or alter their handling, as well as changing your weapon sight's magnification. We also have amazing weapon skins, which we'll talk about in the coming months. So obviously gonna be lots of skins in the game. Now this, it doesn't sound like there's gonna be much in terms of customization there. And we can kind of elaborate on that in the next section of the website which I'll show you in just a second but we can change stuff like the sights magnification so maybe different iron sights maybe scopes that have magnification on them or maybe some sort of improvised red dot sight and also he says you can do bayonets which we kind of knew and also adjust their handling so this could be straps as we've mentioned in a previous video how do sniper rifles feel now this one is very interesting they kind he says that they kind of feel familiar but they're not exactly the same the biggest change is that you'll be most effective when you stay at the right distance to your target it's not all about being as far away as possible you want to make sure that you're not too close but also not too far away so it sounds like that the sniper rifles have kind of a sweet spot in the game where if you're too far you're only going to do a certain amount of damage if let's say you get a headshot but if you're too close you're only going to do a small amount of damage so it looks like there might be some kind of sweet spot mechanic going on there and then he goes on to talk about melee weapons and we kind of knew this already we've designed a number of distinct melee weapon types to take advantage of this each featuring different attack speeds and damage output so something that they've pushed in bf1 is that they they want melee combat to be a big feature of the game but at the same time they don't want everyone to have the same weapon so different weapons are going to have different stats now this post has even more detail in it and there's some really really interesting stuff in this the weapons of bf1 apparently they've increased the bullet velocity and that sped things up and makes the gunplay feel more authentic now i don't know exactly what they mean by this but it sounds like the bullet velocity might actually be a lot faster than it was in real life six categories of weapons shotguns smgs lmgs semi-autos so there are semi-autos in the game there weren't many that were in service in world war one but they did exist sidearms and sniper rifles which do exactly what you think there's a ton of weapon variety that's cool so lots of different variety in the game they're super effective now check this out weapons were really damn good at doing what they were designed to do whether you're blasting holes in walls and taking down hidden enemies or sniping from across the map you'll find the gunplay in bf1 feels modern and fun blasting holes in walls that sounds amazing that sounds like some rainbow six siege stuff right there so you've got a shotgun you've got a rifle there's a guy camping behind the wall boom you blow a hole in it make a little apple core and then you've got a line of sight onto the enemy that sounds amazing and I really want to see that in a battlefield game and now this weapon customization is more focused listen carefully we definitely want to allow you to customize your weapons in bf1 
but we also heard your feedback that we should try to find a way to do this without adding hundreds of additional attachments. This is a big criticism with BF3 and BF4. There's so many attachments and accessories that sometimes you're really confused and you don't know what to put on your weapon and what it's going to do to the stats. Especially if you're a new player, it's very confusing. Even people who have played BF4 for like 400-500 hours still really don't know what the best or what the best suited attachments are for the gun that they're using in their playstyle. So, what they've done in BF1 apparently is have preset loadouts for each weapon. You'll still be able to customise your weapon to make sure that they work with your playstyle but in a more focused way. And each weapon will have three presets. So maybe you want a shotgun that packs a little more punch, so more damage. Or maybe you'd rather have one that trades stability for accuracy. The different weapon presets should help you out. Some have up to three, giving you different ways to play with the same weapons. You'll be able to customise them as well, changing the zoom levels, reticules and more. So it looks like we've got three set options for each weapon. Maybe one that does accuracy, maybe one that's more powerful, and maybe something that's kind of in a middle ground with less recoil. We'll see how that develops. Multiple types of melee weapons, we've just covered that. You can do bayonet charges, yes we know you can do that as well. Frags aren't the only type of grenades though apparently. So we've got traditional frag grenades, you'll also be able to use gas grenades, incendiary grenades and more. More we don't really know, they did actually have impact grenades in World War 1, but I really don't like impact grenades. In BF4 in particular when the game launched, they were just really overpowered and very easy to get kills with, like a guaranteed kill. Just like they were in Star Wars Battlefront, so I hope that the impact grenades aren't the go-to grenade in BF1 because in reality they require absolutely no skill to use and they don't give the person on the receiving end any chance of reacting. The perfect kind of grenade in a battlefield game in my opinion is something like the M67 which is on a timer. If it lands next to you you've got a chance to escape, if you don't react fast enough you're gonna die. I think that's how it should be but that's just my opinion. And of course at the bottom just something about the audio, it's top notch, I mean that's what we would expect from a Battlefield game isn't it? The sound has always been good since Battlefield Bad Company. And this is interesting as well, you can even tell when your magazine is running out of ammo now, your firing sound slightly changes when your ammo is low. So lots of new and interesting information there about the game and I'm sure we'll get to see all this on Sunday June 12th when the gameplay is shown for the first time. And as I said I should have loads of videos myself and impressions coming up. Now moving on to the last part of the video, I don't want to spend too long on these pictures and go into crazy detail, but we will look at them. This is a load of concept art that was posted on VG247 and we're just going to quickly breeze through and maybe assess what's going on. So here it looks like we've got a soldier on top of either an armoured train or a zeppelin. I'm thinking it's an armoured train because of the compartments there and he's fighting a German pilot, I think, who's in a two-seater plane with what looks like a Lewis machine gun, so I don't think he's going to win that one. Next, just some brutal melee combat, looks pretty badass. And then we've got some green fields and a dude holding what looks like a shotgun of some kind, or maybe a semi-auto rifle, I'm not entirely sure what that is. And then we're in the desert, probably Arabia here, and I think that is the Rolls-Royce armoured car, which I've covered in a previous video, and obviously we've got someone taking aim at it there with a rifle. Moving on, some sort of castle ruins here, we've got a Mark IV tank and then a Fokker aeroplane there, the Tri-Wing, and a soldier here holding a Lewis machine gun, I think they're German soldiers. A dogfight through the canyons here, very similar to what we've seen in the trailer. And this looks like it's taken from inside a Zeppelin, looking down at a battlefield, maybe in France somewhere. Some more trench warfare there, very nice, spike mace. A tank rolling over some soldiers. This could be the A7V, the big German tank, the potato tank, which again we've covered in a previous video. Someone parachuting here, firing what looks like an M1911 at an aeroplane. Maybe this guy's just been taken out, but there's a parachute, so perhaps we'll see parachutes in the game for pilots. This guy wearing the lobster armor, and I think that's a sniper mask. That was an actual thing in World War One, and he's holding an absolutely massive machine gun. It could be that this concept art for the armor guy we saw in the trailer. Moving on, we've got some Mark IV tanks having a little battle there. And then this one, a bit of naval warfare. They've got some sort of attack boat here going up against a destroyer. Looks very cool because we didn't see anything like this in the trailer. And we don't really know if this is from single player or multiplayer. Another battleground here. You can see a mountain in the background. So maybe this is up in the Alps. And of course, some planes there maybe doing a bombing run or having a dogfight. Interior here, lots of destruction by the looks of it. And that machine gun is pinning down a soldier. And here we've got what looks like a soldier in a observation balloon taking a few pot shots at a German fighter. On a boat again here perhaps or a submarine and you've got a plane. I think that's a sop with camel 
flying underneath the bridge there lots of stuff going on here and then we're back to arabia dude on a horse holding a revolver and it looks like they're being chased by a motorcycle with a side cart and the guy in the side cart obviously has his rifle or his shotgun ready to fire so it could be that we see these in the game as well Back in what looks like the Alps here, we've got a Zeppelin in the sky and a Mark IV tank going over the crest of that hill towards a trench. Interior again here, this looks very similar to a scene in the trailer. The armoured train, again this was actually a thing in World War One, and you can see a cavalry charge coming in from the right to the left side of the screen there. So maybe they're after whatever is on this train or perhaps they're trying to just derail it. Interior fighting again. This guy, I think, is either British or American, but he's holding a Winchester 1897 shotgun, so I reckon he's won that gunfight. This one, of course, I can only assume is London and the Battle of Britain. We've got Big Ben there, and we've got the Zeppelin coming through the clouds, being escorted by what looks like some Fokker triplane, so perhaps the Battle of Britain will make an appearance somewhere. Now some sort of anti-air weaponry i can't identify where that soldier's from because i'm not a historian but it looks very cool fighting inside a city this could be somewhere in france and we've got on the left there a sniper from that information earlier we know that telescopic sights are in the game and i reckon this guy is about to blow someone's head off and also of course the clock tower in the background there a german plane has just smashed into it and absolutely demolished it so hopefully we see that kind of destruction in the game Soldier being taken out here and another running with a rifle. That's probably an Enfield. More fighting in this lush green area. Could be France or Italy. And it looks like the guy at the front is holding an MP18 submachine gun. And maybe perhaps trying to be a bit stealthy. Back to the desert now. And I think that's either the Rolls Royce armoured car we saw earlier. Or the IGA-1 which was an armoured car used in World War One. Two soldiers in a field here. I'm thinking this is a Tommy, a British soldier and a german squaring up against each other in pistols by the way i've probably got loads of this information wrong because i'm doing this as a live commentary i'm just basing this off what i've kind of learned over the last couple of months researching world war one and then another two-seater plane here taking game on a german fighter and the zeppelin in the background back to the village here by the looks of it this does look very french to me so i'm guessing somewhere in france but just look at the level of destruction now of course this is concept art so concept art isn't always the same as what's in the game but it's usually pretty close and kind of like the overall vision for the finished product another motorcycle here with a sidecar this one looks like it's got some armor on the front though and maybe a position for firing out of and in the background there is flamethrower dude from the trailer Flamethrower dude again looking pretty cool. Some sort of assault in the desert here. I don't know where this is but it looks awesome. Ruins. This could possibly be France and those are German soldiers. We've got a single seater plane here flying under a rock formation in the desert. And a couple guys on top maybe shooting at him. And then this scene in the forest. We've got derailed trains and I'm guessing this is the forest of Argonne as that was mentioned at the BF1 reveal event. So it could be that this is either part of a mission in the single player or, or the multiplayer or perhaps even both. This one is awesome. A zeppelin on fire. I'm presuming that's crashing to the ground and a soldier maybe cocking back his rifle there. More melee combat there in the rain looks very brutal. And if you look carefully on the right, it looks like that guy's got some sort of a pike or a spear. And I don't think we've seen any of that yet. Back to the forest here and some sort of car chase. Back up in the Alps again maybe. Those are observation balloons. More dogfights going on here. Three German soldiers in a trench. One's got the MP18 and two at the back there maybe Guerre 98. And then finally, this guy, I think this is an American soldier with a gas mask on. He's holding a revolver and... A spiked trench mace this could be perhaps one of the Harlem Hellfighters you just don't know and that's the last of the concept art images there very beautiful and I hope that if these are real the vision that DICE put forward for BF1 is realized because this game looks like it's absolutely packed full of variety and absolutely badass so that's all I've got for today guys do let me know your thoughts down in the comments below Remember, as I said, we don't have to wait long now till we see some real gameplay. Sunday, June 12th, there's going to be a live stream, 10pm BST. I'll be playing in that along with lots of other people that you'll probably know from YouTube and Twitch. So make sure you tune in, check it out, it's going to be a blast. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, that would be awesome. If you didn't, a thumbs down, and I'll see you in the next one.